Hi friends, very good afternoon. Yes ma'am, welcome back to Let's Crack UPSC CSA English with India's largest learning platform and academy. Let's crack it. Please drop a confirmation message. Is everything is good to go? Am I visible, audible, things are clear? Fine. What all you will get under an academy platform? Needless to say, daily live classes, isn't it? Yes ma'am, every day sharp 2 p.m. on YouTube platform. Yes, this week is going to be a YouTube week. Why? Because uh, uh, yes, afternoon as well as tonight session I'll be doing, I'll be taking a YouTube class 8 p.m. as well. So what is the best part of live class ma'am? The best part is that you can chat with your educator, engage in discussion, ask your doubts and answer polls all while the class is going on, isn't it? Yes, why? To make the session more lively and interactive. Fine. Apart from this, yes, at the end of the session also, I have already scheduled a live quiz. Do come and attend the live quiz and get benefited because it's an amazing, of course, I could say it's more than golden. It's a diamond opportunity to clear your prelims with ease. So, don't ever miss this opportunity. I have scheduled the uh, quiz, live quiz. I have hosted. I will conduct the, start the quiz immediately after I complete the topic. Okay. The quiz code is 898416. 898416. I have shared the link as well. Yes, Sandar, very good afternoon. So, the best thing is that do attend the quiz and uh, evaluate your performance then and there. Structured courses. Yes, my dear friends, all of the courses are so structured in line with your exam syllabus in order to help you best prepare for it. It is OESS for your PMI, one stop solution for your prelim, mains, and interview. Unlimited access to unlimited courses. One subscription gets you access to all of our live and recorded courses to watch from the comfort of any of your devices for which you have to download an academy learning app. Yes, this is me, your dear mom. I'm Danlakshmi, senior, top and a very passionate educator. Yes, my dear friends, in search of pursuit of happiness, one of my greatest happiness lies in being as an educator for category UPSC, CSC. Why? Because this is the field where I have an enormous amount of experience and expertise which is more than 15 years. I have stepped to civil service preparation in 2004. Of course, I am a Vajdan student. With respect to my teaching experience, yes, I have more than decade long rich experience in teaching for UPSC, CSC which is closer to 13 years. It's about to uh, complete. Yes, I am one of the senior most educator. I take classes pan India, across India. I am a registered senior faculty. I take classes in Bombay, Hy sorry, Delhi, Hyderabad, Bangalore and Chennai. Only these four as of now. My credentials specific to civil service, yes, I have appeared twice in UPSC CSC interview with six consecutive mains. Six times I appeared the prelims and I have a six times very rich mains experience. Uh, ap apart from this, my other credentials are I have cleared my state service. I'm a group two officer. Yes, I have also cleared more than seven to eight other competitive exams. Apart from a unique style of teaching, I have mentored more than 25,000 aspirants over a period of last 12 years. I haven't just stopped. I haven't stopped just by mentoring. I have hence produced the result by bringing the toppers in this field. Yes, I have produced the All India Rankers and many, many, the list is endless. Many of my students are happily and effectively working as an IAS and IPS officers across India. So, you can reach your DL ma'am using this code DL10 and I have also shared my Telegram link and an Academy profile link as well. Apart from this, Yes, you can do the preparation. Prepare with the top educators, all the best brains of India, all the subject experts are found under one roof and needless to say, that roof is an academy. To name a few, Murinal sir, Roman Saini, Ayush Shangi, Sudarshan Gurjar, the list is endless. Utilize the platform to its fullest. Comprehensive syllabus. Yes, my dear friends, here we are providing somewhere closer to 16k courses 16k courses for upsc csc category so that you can never ever come with a complaint saying that ma'am there is a deficit of courses for these subject no we provide everything in excess so uh, choose your educator keep following them on a regular basis one subscription unlimited benefits can anyone refute this or deny this no what is this learn live from the comfort of your home unlimited access to all courses 
top educators of India on one platform, exhaustive coverage of the syllabus, regular doubt clearing session, live test series, study material at the end of each session in the form of a PDF format, answer writing session. Yes, in all my plus and the special classes, I used to emphasize on names answer writing and the students now they are on the line. They know how to enrich your answers, they will enrich your contents. Whatever the topics I complete, I try to get it done then and there by doing an instant revision, instant test and instant uh, strategies. Yes. So, mentoring and guidance, majority all of my AMA sessions will be on the kind of nature of mentoring and guidance. So, when you have enormous amount of benefits, I don't know which is stopping you from taking the subscription. It's really high time for you to stop thinking and start working in terms of join now. If you have decided, join it immediately so that you can have save your hard-earned money so don't go anything short of 24 months you can choose either 24 months or 36 months for entire 24 months by using my code dl10 you get 10 percent instant discount at last you have to pay only 64,800. for 36 months yes here again you will be using my code dl10 you get 10 percent instant discount at last you have to pay only 81,100. here again the company provides for it EMI option. Yes, so you make the best use out of it. Next is Iconic subscription. The fees detail with respect to Iconic subscription is for entire 24 months. Yes, my dear friends, you are going to use my code DL10 and you will get 10% instant discount. At last, you have to pay only 96,300 and for 36 months, it is again here again, you will be using my code DL10 and you have to pay only 1,26,900. So, Iconic subscription is something that apart from the getting access to the regular classes, you will also be provided extra like personal feedback, individual attention. You, If you are ready to write the answers on a daily basis, yes, we will give you the corrections on the daily basis. So, your answers will be uh, evol evaluated by the experts, customized study plan, personalized feedback. You have enormous amount of uh, uh, of course, the benefits by opting for iconic subscription, mentoring, it's all about successful people never reach their goals alone. It is something that this field requires um, support because this journey, it looks like it is a very challenging and Herculean task, but the destination it takes you is an amazing, nobody can even uh, dream about it individually. So that's a beautiful destination is waiting for you. So keep saying to yourself that always the difficult road leads to beautiful destination, isn't it? So work hard, of course, a mentoring is something, a brain to pick, an ear to listen and push into the right direction. So every stage of our life, at every point of our life, definitely we would have come across a mentors we would, on seeing them. Yes, mentors are all around us who makes you feel confident, inspired, focused and willing to share their experience. Thus, I become a mentor because I wanted to give the thing I didn't realize is how much I would get. So, I wish all of my students not to remain just as a good enough better. I want all of you to come out as the best. Okay. Thank you, Ma. So, today's session is a very colorful session and it is a favorite session of UPSC, Indian painting. Paintings as an art. Yes, in today's uh, uh, live quiz also, I have scheduled a topic which is in relevance with this, uh, of course, performing arts, art and culture topic only. So, it is going to be a then and there instant revision. So, without any further delay, can I begin the session, Ma? Yes. Painting as an art. Of course, in Kama Sutra, painting is listed as one of the finest arts out of 64 fine arts. The total list is 64. In Among the 64 Kama, in Kama Sutra, of course, painting is listed as one of the most important. Vatsayana, try to remember, Vatsayana has mentioned six principles, the limbs of painting. What are the six limbs or principles of painting? Rubad, Rupeda, Pramen. Lavan Yojanam, Shadrashayam, Bhav Varnika Banga. Just try to remember because very rarely they used to ask this. But if they asked, even you must be in a position to answer because prelim is very easy that you have to pick the answers out of four, isn't it? So, what is this Shadanga six limbs and principles? Ma? Once more, I will repeat it. Rubeda, Rupeda, Praman, Lavan Yojanam. Shadrashayam Bhav Varnika Banga. Okay, fine. See how colorful it is. 
Indian paintings. Yes, we are going to discuss about the kinds mural painting and miniature painting. Is this fine? It is in two types. First, for our discussion in today's session, mural paintings one of very, very, very important. Okay, they are large work executed on the walls of the large structure. So, mural is a clue that it is a wall painting. They are the large works executed on the walls of the large structure. Ajanta cave, Lepakshi temple, Lepakshi temple, Elora caves, etc. Or on that beautiful example for mural paintings. Mostly done. The emphasis was during the Gupta age. Is this fine, ma? Please. Mural paintings of Gupta age. So, to be very specific, we are going to discuss what are all the different kinds of mural paintings during Gupta age. Ajanta paintings, expression of emotions through hand postures. So, when you look at the Ajanta paintings, of course, it's a wall mural painting. It comes under category of mural paintings. Uh, they used to give more emphasis for expression of emotion. Whatever emotions that you can feel it on seeing the paintings on the wall. Through their hand postures, birds and animals also are shown with emotion. So, of course, you all know that uh, I think many of you might be having a pet, isn't it, my dear friends? Uh, so, the pet uh, excitement, you can say, sometimes it is dull. If the very close person is dead, you can see the pets uh, shedding tears, isn't it? So, the birds and animals also have their emotions. That emotion is very, very sensitive and it is very difficult to depict the same emotion. But the beauty of this mural painting is especially on Ajanta categories, they also depict the emotions of not only with the humans and they are also of the birds and animals. So, it is very important point is that they give to, they give more emphasis for the emotions and fresco paintings, of course. Tempera style used using pigments theme entirely Buddhism. So, Ajanta paintings, of course, all the paintings will be revolving around the concepts of Buddhism. Jataka tales, life of the Buddha. Very, very important because as we are going to discuss in the future classes, it will not be some kind of paintings like it. They will not give only for Buddhism emphasis. They also emphasis on Buddhism, Jainism and the Hinduism later part. Whereas Ajanta painting is that the theme is very important. The emphasis on Buddhism, Jataka tales, life of Buddha. Bath painting, same as Ajanta painting. Is this fine? Are you able to follow ma? Such an important topic. Ellora paintings. I mentioned now what is the theme of an Ellora painting? Ajanta is purely only Buddhism. Whereas Ellora, the emphasis, the theme is on centered around Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism. So, from prelim point of view, you have to remember scenes. What are the scenes you can see in uh, see in Ajanta painting? They used to give importance for the emotion, let it be human emotions or the emotions of the birds and animals. Whereas for the Ellora paintings, of course, the scenes of Ramayana and Mahabharata. Shiva as a Nadraj, of course, you can see the battle scenes. Elephant in the lotus pond. Technique the same as Ajanta painting. So, we will be discussing in detail what are the techniques used in Ajanta. So, in general, this is an introduction part. The theme of Ellora is that not only only with the Buddhism, it also consists about all the in com uh, composers, comprises about Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism. Is this fine, ma? Next, mural paintings of Vijayanagar Empire, Lepakshi paintings, flourish during Vijayanagara kingdom. Theme, what is the theme for each and every type? The theme is very, very important. Not religious, but secular. So, you cannot see in paintings, uh, Lepakshi paintings, of course, it was your previous year's prelim question. They don't emphasize on religious. They don't, in the paintings, you can't see any epics or the Ramayana, Mahabharata or the God Goddesses. It was like purely secular in nature. So, which kind of paintings is secular, emphasis in secular? It is Lepakshi painting. Complete absence of primary colors. What are the primary colors, ma? Red. Blue and yellow. Am I right? Red, blue and yellow. Isn't it? So, the primary colors, bad quality. Quality is not up to the standard. Absence of primary colors. So, imagine a painting which doesn't have a primary colors. Will it be appealing? Will it be eye-catchy? It looks like dull only. Na? Because it is not, they are, they are not using the primary colors. And the quality is also substandard. It is not up to the mark. Decline in paintings. Are you able to visualize, Mark? Are you able to understand what are the things? 
Yes or no? Next. See how dull it is. You can't see any blue, B, uh, blue, red and yellow. See the dull. I can't zoom it. Let me check whether I can zoom it. No. Yeah. See, I am trying to zoom it here. Now, now look at this. Now look at this. Yes. So I am. So it is. It looks very dull, isn't it? It's not bright, and the quality is also not up to the mark. So some of the wall paintings of this declining period. Which period is a declining period? Of course, it is a Vijayanagar period. It's a declining period in the reign of Prince of Travancore in Kerala. Some of the wall paintings, that is mural paintings, in the palaces of Jaipur in Rajasthan and Rang Mahal of Chamba Palace in Himachal Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh are worth mentioning. So in some places here and there, the wall paintings, the mural paintings, of course, during this Lipakshi time. So try to remember the example, Lipakshi paintings are Examples are very important. Of course, the region consists of in the palaces of Jaipur Palace and Rang Mahal of the Chamba Palace in Himachal Pradesh are worth mentioning. Is this fine? Is this fine? Next, miniature painting. Now we are getting again into the introduction part. It is a very detailed mini. Mini itself is a clue is that you are getting it. It's a very small. Okay. Miniscule, very, very small, pretty, small, cute and beautiful. Whereas mural is on the wall. It takes a lot of effort. Miniature in whatever you can do it in paper, cloth, materials or different. So it's a video be very detailed and small in size. That is why it's got the name miniature. Small paintings executed on a very small scale. So what are all used for miniature paintings, ma? In books in manuscripts or on other materials like paper, cloth and even glass. So these are the different, of course, the material they have used. So for mural, you can see it could be painted on wall only. There is a miniature you can in books, in manuscripts or on other materials like paper, cloth or even glass. Okay, what is the technique? Paintings were executed in the traditional tempera technique. After mixing colors in water, how many of you are interested in painting? Of course, you are all, I know you are all an artist. Yes, Chandu. Good afternoon. You are all an artist. How many of you are interested in paintings? Or well, ma'am, if you ask me, I can say the same. Uh, I don't, I'm not good in drawing. I'm a very poor drawing. But since I was a geography student, geography optional, I know how to draw my uh, uh, subject concepts alone and apart from that uh, sketch or at the maximum crayons i don't know anything beyond that okay whereas the kids in of these generation they use oil painting water painting i think we have a different versions and different thing they, it was so advanced so they, i have seen their mixing they'll be doing these things they'll bring one color and only when you have a patient and Passion. Patience should be there for art. Art is like it is a each and every little things you have to give emphasis. So after mixing colors in water, isn't it? They used to mix the colors in water along with the binding material they were applied on the drawing. First what they will do, they will make a free sketch, isn't it? The sketch was freely drawn either. So the outline free sketch either they used to have a black color or a red color red or black over which a white priming was given so this is the technique it has been used the surface was thoroughly burnished till the outline showed clearly through it so the first thing is that they make a perfect pair of pick that they'll have a complete outline then a second outline was drawn with a fine brush so it re really requ requires a lots and lots of effort ma first the background was colored they don't directly what we will do see in the outgrow uh, of course on the outer surface you wanted to draw something and there is a tree and girl and boy some other pick okay so first we we'll used to sh start coloring for the figures or the humans or something the background if you want we will do or later only we we'll used to uh, give importance but these people first they use to beautify the background from the background then only they'll come to the center figure the background was colored and then the sky buildings trees etc so from the effect then they wanted to give focus to the center figure the figures were painted last what we will do from the figure to the periphery from the center to the periphery for that from the periphery towards the center it is like centrifugal and the um, 
a centripetal force, isn't it? Figures were painted last of all, after which a final outline was drawn. So, these were the techniques which has been followed by each and every person. So, when copies were made from perforated sketches by rubbing on charcoal powder, the dotted outline took the place of the first drawing. Colors used in paintings were obtained from minerals and ochres. So, color painting. See how they are taking the colors. Ma. Now, we are seeing for vegetable colors. So, the colors is being extracted from the vegetables. We have so much of versions now because we are having uh, so many new, new colors. That time, they have used the paintings, of course, the colors to obtain the colors which as they have used in minerals and ochres. Very, very important. Colors were used in painting were obtained from minerals and ochres. Indigo was the vegetable color. Lab dyes and red carmine were obtained from insects. From the insects also, not only from the vegetables, from the insects, from the minerals, from the ochres. They are trying to extract the colors in such a way from insects. The colors taken is like lab dye and red carmine. Indigo from the vegetable color. From film point of view, these things are very, very important. Is this fine, Ma? Are you able to follow? Next. So, technical rule for miniature painting. Miniature painting size. What is the first rule? Rule number one. Miniature means it should be small in size. It should not go greater than 25 inch square. So, less than 25. 25 inch. Second, the subject matter, the subject, subject must not be painted greater than one sixth of his original size. Okay, the subject is important in any painting. Then only the background, periphery, other things. But the rule as per the miniature painting is that of the original size, it should not exceed the subject, the main content, the main thing is main pick should not exceed greater than one sixth of its original size. Are you getting it? From prelim point of view, extremely important. Okay. Third, paintings are not merely about the size, but also the level of detail that differentiate in from small paintings. It's not only about the size, the detail is also be very clear. Miniature. How does this word miniature is derived from a Latin word minium? It is not minimum. It is minium. What do you mean by minium? Meaning a red lead paint. What is this? Minium meaning. So, the clue you are getting it. It is derived from a Latin word. What is this ma? It is derived from a Latin word. Of course, the word minium. Okay. Minium meaning red lead paint. Red lead paint used in illuminated manuscripts during Renaissance. It has nothing to do with the size. So, what is the first thing in films? If you have an option, the miniature, the word miniature derived from Latin, it represents size. How many of you will make it right? Of course, 99% they will say miniature. So, they are saying something about the size. Actually, the true meaning is that the word, the Latin word minimum, minium. It is not even minimum. It is a minium meaning a red lead paint used in illuminated manuscript during the Renaissance. It has nothing to do with the size. Okay. Please make sure that this is the most important point where 90% student of us try to make a mistake okay so what is the size mass size should be less than 25 and the original subject should not go greater than one sixth of this original size the subject paintings are not merely about the size but also the level of detail that differentiate from small paintings features of indian miniature paintings what are the features here again the second subdivision first we have discussed the details techniques and now it is a technical rule and next is the features what are the features most human characters are shown with side profile. Fine. Second, big eyes. Okay, big, big eyes. Pointed nose, a sharp pointed nose. Women, slim waist, long hair. For women means, of course, all zero size, zero figure. 
a slim waist they have and they have a lengthy hair long hair how the skin color will be mostly it will be a brown and air and eye will be uh, air and eye will be of a black color see each and everything they are trying to detail it if it is if they wanted to draw a picture of uh, krishna of course the skin color will be blue because krishna is not whitish it is a dark color he is normally is a black okay so they used to bring a krishna neela vanna kanna blue color krishna even in uh, even in cinemas and uh, of course the uh, dramas and everything you can always see krishna wearing a yellow dhoti and a velvet color jacket and blue uh, spaces will be painted with blue color isn't it so dress will be definitely it is a traditional indian dress and men have a turbans on their head and initially natural colors were used where they do not use in which kind of painting ma just now we have discussed in which kind of painting they don't use the primary colors in which kind of paintings they don't use the primary colors did we discuss they they don't use the primary colors yes please fill the answer and famous painters side profile mostly in mughals miniature ma'am okay that's good now i have asked you the next question uh, ah lepakshi super so lepakshi it will not be religious emphasis of course of bad quality decline in painting and they do not use the primary colors famous painters who are the famous painters watchak watchak try to remember and next is nihal okay nihal friends let me give you an announcement now itself at the end of the session you have a quiz from the art and culture topic only okay so test your performance of course last time chandu you have participated today also you participate and you try to get benefit out of it it's an amazing opportunity don't ever miss for each and every student of mine i'm insisting is really high time if you want to clear the prelims with ease you have to get exposed to as many questions as possible okay fine so it is fine ma mostly here human character side profile big guys pointed nose women will be of uh, you can see a big uh, fat figures of course it is a slim waist with a long hair skin brown black krishna blue turban natural colors were used and famous painters watchak and nihalchan watchak and nihalchan okay next various types of miniature painting we have a pal school of painting abrahan shah school mughal painting and regional schools okay now we'll discuss one after the other first is pal school of miniature lonely human figure lonely human figure this is a features distinctive features of pal school lonely human figure either a single male or it is a single female sitting separately under the tree there it will be of a lonely figure mainly mainly manuscript paintings because we have a different kinds of miniature paintings on the book on the manuscripts on the leaf on the cloth on the even on the glass initially done on the palm leaf later on the paper so initially see how it is palm leaf if we take a palm leaf it is easy to draw on leaf ma do we need a dry leaf or do we need a moist leaf that also dry means if it is become too dry then you can't able to draw on paint do, do they paint it directly no first they will do the draw uh, outline they have a technique they have a procedure okay then they have to finish it that that also they will use either a black or a red color then uh, they will finish the background first then only they will come to the subject and subject should not go more than 1/6 of the original so when you have these many of uh, rules and techniques and also they have to imprint this on the palm leaf really really it is challenging it is easy to draw on paper but it is not easy to draw on manuscript paintings of course on palm leaf what is the theme ma the theme is buddhist and jainism where we have discussed the theme let can we have a theme small clarity theme where do we have ent only buddhism which kind only buddhism which kind of paintings and uh, you have hinduism buddhism jainism which kind of painting and uh, secular which kind of paintings and pal school of course it is of buddhist bh buddhist and hinduism am i right just fill the answers just fill the answers theme is 
Buddhist and Hinduism, nature representation, banana and coconut tree. So you can see in many of the Pal school of uh, Pal school of miniature as the nature. They used to represent the nature in terms of banana, coconut tree. The emphasis on Buddhas, Buddhist Jataka tales, life of the Buddha, Buddha, uh, Buddha, of course, many such things. Hinduism, of course, the gods and goddesses. Can you see the lonely figure here? Yes, I am zooming it. Can you see? Uh, can you see this, Yama? See, lonely figure, is or no? Is or no? Secular Lepakshi, Elora, Subama, Ajanta, Elora, all three, secular is Lepakshi. So, as I mentioned, see, it has only the lonely figure here. Okay. Okay. Next is, Aprahansha, Appa Brancha School, <coughs> Mewar and Gujarat region. So, MG, this type of school is in Mewar and Gujarat region. What is the theme? Here the theme is Jainism and Vaishnavism. So, in Pal school, it is Buddhism and Hinduism and here it is a Jainism and Vaishnavism. What is the characteristic mark? It is the bulgin eyes, pointed nose, double chin. The chin they used to, they used to show it prominent like they has a double chin. Use of bright and gold colors. Figures or stuff figures, animals and birds are represented as a toys. So, if you wanted to mention, if they wanted to bring an animal, they don't draw the animal picture. They used to represent the animals and birds by uh, making it as a toys, representing in terms of our toys. So, Mewar, Hapa, Brancha School, Mewar and Gujarat region, theme is definitely JV. So, try to remember for PAL, it is BH. What is this? Because theme is very, very important. Buddhist and Hinduism, BH for Upper Brancha School, it is JB, Jainism and Vaishnavism, characteristic, bulgin eyes, pointed nose, double chin, use of bright and gold colors, figures of stuff, animals and birds are represented as toys. Can you look at here? Yes, I will zoom it again. Yes, ma'am. Can you see? So, this is a uh, Mewar and Gujarat region, Bulgin. So, these are the features. These are with respect to Upper Brancha schools. Okay? Fine. Okay. Right click. Next, Mughal paintings. Now, we are moving into the third part is Mughal paintings. I, P, E. Pai, cutie pie. Can we remember for middle paintings like this? Cutie pie. How do you used to say it? Pai, P I E. Persian influence, Indian influence, European influence. Who is a cutie pie? It is a Mughal painting. Persian, Indian and European. What are the features specific to Mughal paintings? Mostly or generally miniature paintings. Use of brilliant colors. Accuracy in line drawing. See, I can't even put this straight line. But they show a prominent. They used to give more emphasis. Can you? Of course, if you ask me, ma'am, can you draw a straight line? My lines will be shaking. Of course, straight line. We can't, I can't even make one. I used to take the support of ruler. They used to show accuracy in the line drawing. It is really, really very difficult. And ornamentation, yes, they used to give emphasis for the ornamentation. Variety of themes. Very importantly, why? Because in Pal school, there we have seen the themes with respect to Buddhism and Hinduism. All their paintings will be revolving around Buddhism and Hinduism. In uh, Appa Brancha school, of course, it is Jainism and Vaishnavism. Here, nothing specific. Variety of themes. Use of four tightening techniques. So, brilliant colors, accuracy in line drawing. Since it's a Mughal, you have to remember from exam point of view, extremely important. See how beautiful it is. Yes, la. I will zoom it. See, ornamentation is beautiful. Na? Really, it's really beautiful. So, this is an example of a Mughal painting. Of course, it has an influence of Persian, Indian and European as well. Okay, next. Baba. Now we are going to discuss under the Mughal rulers. Extremely important. Under Baba. No time for painting. Oh, he was busy in with other work. So, there was a no time for painting. Patronized Persian painter, Bizarre. 
okay barber b to b barber patronized bizarre not much emphasis for painting patronized persian painter he brought two persian painters one is abdus samad abdus samad and mir sayyad ali from film point of view next is humayun during a humayun time first is a barber he patronized bizarre humayun is a second he brought two persian painters one is one is abdus okay abdus samad and another one is mir sayyad ali okay try to remember the personalities because it comes under the mughal and they are extremely important so abdus samad and mir sayyad ali so persian influence is there overall mughal cutie pie what is a pie persian indian and european during the mughal of course this humayun it is a persian influence and uh, babar also persian influence akbar most important very very important he established the separate department for painting concept of karkana who has introduced the concept of karkana it is an akbar who has established the separate department of painting it is an akbar in karkanas what what will be done in karkanas indian painters from across from different regions and zones they were invited to in order to bring the indian influence because the mughal painting itself we have a pai pai influences persian naturally with the mughal indian we need to have an indian influence okay so they will invite the indian painters from different zones and regions they station at one place that is in the karkanas the indian painters were invited and they in order to get the indian influence so next is european that naturally we know what are the features of what are the features during the akbar period famous painters dashwan dashwant baswan kesu okay try to remember who was the famous uh, painters patronized by the akbar of course dashwant baswan kesu very very important very very important dashwant baswan kesu mostly miniature painting yes 3d figure so who's during whose time it was an emphasis for the 3d figure it's an akbar so famous painters during akbar who patronized dashwan baswan and kesu for babar bizar for humayun abdus samad mir sayyad ali is or no ma try to remember the painters of course it's very very important from prelim point of view okay next so 3d figures separate department karkanas and for here during akbar period all the influence five persian indian and european calligraphy what do you mean by calligraphy of course art and style how many of you have a uh, how many of you are a calligraphist here we have a very good uh, handwriting so is or no ma calligraphy then four sightning technique themes what are the themes during akbar it is not something like uh, it is not religion specific whereas it is a fair and festivals so fairs and festivals was an emphasis or the theme during the akbar time yak to yak fair and festival during akbar time and combined efforts of painters started is this fine is this fine can i zoom it yes give us a cursor okay i am searching with the cursor good yes ma can you see fairs and festivals of course this is a kind of a festival so they used to give importance for this this is a example during akbar time jahangir so we have seen for baba no time for painting anyhow he has patronized one painter bizar for humayun two painters sam abdus samad and another one mir sayyad ali of course the next is akbar period is very very important why because he has made a separate department karkanas where the indian painters were invited in order to get the indian influence 3d figures was there and the themes was fair and festivals who are the important famous painters during akbar period was dashwan baswan dashwant baswan kesu dashwant baswan kesu try to remember very very important next jahangir 
Mughal period reached at its climax during whose regime, during whose rule the painting has reached the climax? It was during the Jahangir period. Jahangir was a naturalist. How many of you are a natural lover here? Of course, I'm a very, I'm a natural lover. I love, I become, whenever I'm depressed, I'm sad. When I see the trees and flowers and waters and birds, natural. Nobody, no human also can give you that much uh, uh, soothing uh, thing where the nature gives you in return. Okay. So, so try to spend your productive quality time with the nature. In return, it will keep you hale and healthy. Yes or no? It is a very good stress buster. And it is also give you many fresh things in your life. So try to have a good connect with the nature. Fact like Jahangir was a, generally was a naturalist. He preferred a painting on the theme of a bird, animals and other elements of nature like flowers. Yes or no? In nature, we, we find a mountain, trees, birds, animals, flowers. I think you don't want to draw the pictures of a human. He might be fed up with that. Okay. Portrait painting started. Decorated margin. See, I think we would have, have the habit of, we will draw the main picture. But normally the margins will be simple and plain. During his time only, they have given emphasis for decorating the margin, border. So, if you've given a good border, the central figure will have a good look, isn't it? Isn't it? Is or no, ma? See? So, eh, there might be some, see, I, I, as I already mentioned, I'm a poor, uh, okay, I'm very, very poor in drawing. Of course, it is very difficult to draw in pentar. So, when you make any center figure, that figure is enriched because of the border design are you getting it so that emphasis was made during decorated margins he had his workshops too famous painter during his time ustad manzoor painters please do remember have a synopsis upsc have the habit of asking about the famous painter so famous painter is ustad manzoor famous paintings during his time zebra painting turkey maulana maulana du piazza okay so these are the famous paintings during Jahangir. Jahangir period is very very important. Why? Because during his period only, Mughal period uh, during his time only, Mughal period has reached the climax in painting. He was a naturalist and his themes was uh, since he was a natural lover, all his themes was revolving around the nature decorated margin, portrait painting started. Now you know in the camera of course landscape portrait. So the word portrait of course the emphasis for the portrait painting has been started during whose period? Not Akbar. Akbar is 3D. Okay, Akbar has started a department. Akbar has started a Karkanas. That is a, his, his style is different. His themes is, are also revolving around fair and festivals. Whereas Jahangir, it was a natural. And second is the painters. Uh, he was patronized that Ustad Manzoor. Famous painting, Zebra, Taki, Maulana, Du Piazza. Yes, I will zoom it here. Now, now look at here. Can you see? Since he is a naturalist, zebra, animal. Can you see the border, ma? See, as we said, decorated margins. Is or no? See the border, like photo frame. Okay? See the margins. Margins itself has taken a center role. Okay? Every figure in margins, they have given an uh, importance. So, this is how... It was uh, during the Jahangir period. Am I right? Am I right? Shah Jahan. Can I move to the next? Too much use of gold, silver, bright colors. Who sad, of course, so whose painting was too dark. It has a golden, silver and bright colors. It was during a Shah Jahan period. Reduce the liveliness. When anything in excess, it becomes, it will... It, it, it will be like over, na? anything in excess, over makeup. Just remember, if you have a light makeup, you look good. When you have a over makeup, how does it look good? Look or odd. What is this here? So, that's why it's too much of use of bright colors, gold, contrast and silver has reduced the liveliness in his uh, paintings. Of course, it was not uh, original or natural. It was having a more of artificial tinge. This unnatural look suggests the European influence. Pencil drawing, sketching started. So, pencil drawing, sketching has been started. So, very portrait drawing during Jahangir. 3D department, school influence that during Akbar. And whose period the pencil drawing and sketching has started? It was during the time of Shah Jahan. Is this fine, Ma? Yes, look at your pencil drawing. How many of you have the habit of drawing a pencil drawing? See how beautiful it is. Yes, let me zoom it. Is or no? Can you see the pencil drawing? 
is really good really really good and for this we have a border again okay so this was the style too much color see gold and silver as they said gold in jahangir time of course in shah jahan shah gold color silver color too much bright decoration so it was not looking real pink whereas it was looking uh, giving the effect of artificial then you can ask me ma'am what does aurangzeb did as you know the mughal time what was the uh, aurangzeb uh, rule of course is discourage the paintings on whose time it has reached the climax you know jahangir on whose time it has reached the downfall none other than than aurangzeb so dispersal of artists from the mughal court and hence the concept of regional school started because there was nobody to patronize the ruler was not supporting the ruler was not encouraging he is not patronizing what will the what will the artists do now they try to disperse to different regions so when the disbursement uh, when the dispersal happened of course there is a uh, evolution of the new new regional school started is this clear ma'am is this clear for everyone are you fine till now yes okay you want me to do the of course i'll try to do a small portion then we'll come for the revision revision we'll try to highlight the core important points you just say me whether you want to do the revision of mughal or can i proceed with the deccan school deccan school i'll try to finish some regional schools then i'll do one quick revision and then we'll follow with the test is this fine is this fine okay can i proceed the deccani schools yes the sirka the deccani schools 15 16 to 18 and red no pre mughal painting from the deccan are so far known to exist it can safely be presumed that sophisticated schools of painting flourished there making a significant contribution to the development of mughal style in north india of course this is very uh, uh, prominent early centers of painting in the deccan so the century is always you should remember because upsc is asking a time frame so at least centers of painting in deccan during the 16th and the 17th century what are they ahmednagar bijapur golconda ahmednagar bijapur and golconda in the deccan painting continued to develop independently of the mughal style in the beginning however late in the 17th and 18th century it was increasingly influenced by the mughal style okay so in the deccan painting continue to develop independently of the mughal style in the beginning but later on in the 17 and 18 only it was increasingly influenced by the mughal style so now we are going to discuss the regional school i'll try to finish the school of rajasthani okay regional school we have two types one is the rajasthani school and another one is pahari school why the why there is a evolution of regional school ma because the last mughal ruler aurangzeb he failed to patronize he failed to encourage the painting so the of course uh, artists they got dispersed to different region which has led to the evolution of the regional schools okay so under rajasthani let us try to remember what all comes under rajasthani school malwa mewar marwar so m3 mal me mar malwar mewar marwar school bundi school kota school jaipur and amber school jaipur and amber bikaner school kishan gan school so what are the schools of rajasthani schools ma malwa school meva school marwa school bundi school kota school jaipur and amber school bikaner school kishan gan school okay is this fine because it's very important under pahari basholi gular kangra kullu mandi chamba tanka jammu odisha these are the schools which comes under the broader pahari school rajasthani malwa mewar marwar bundi kota jaipur bikaner kishangarh is this fine is this fine so from prelim point of view of course you should know this okay malwa mewar marwar bundi kota jaipur and amber school bikaner kishangarh 
and pahari basholi yula gangra gangra kullu mandi chamba tanka jammu odisha first to begin with rajasthani school of painting what is the theme as i mentioned for any school or for any kind of painting first you have to give emphasis for the themes okay themes what are the themes for the rajasthani based on hindu tradition and mythology so in the paintings what kind of uh, paintings you can see under rajasthani school means battle scenes hunting scenes and riding so the war battle hunting of course and riding scenes they will look very beautiful this kind of school is developed in the three phases the first phase to 16th century mural paintings it will be simple and on a solid and dark background so what is the time period for the phases of rajasthani ma from 1 to 16 it is of a mural paintings of course of wall paintings a simple and on a solid and dark background whereas in the second phase the early 17th century sophisticated paintings so second phase of course it starts after the end of the first phase from 17th early 17th century sophisticated paintings third phase is 17th to 18th century portrait painting can you fill the answer during which mughal rule their portrait painting has started three questions i'll ask you with respect to mughal okay mughal paintings during which ruler portrait painting started portrait painting during which ruler uh, pencil sketch pencil and sketch pencil sketch started during which mughal ruler 3d effect and separate department separate department okay it is not easy sophisticated okay fine so third phase is 17th to 18th century portrait painting in the rajasthani style mughal influence miniature painting mainly representation of uh, krishna and radhe nayak nayika nayika hunting scenes of course radha krishna it is like a lassia we were discussing in yesterday's classical dance also uh, so it will be of a love story it's of a presentation the third century first century it was or a very uh, the type of mural and it is a solid and back and second at the uh, beginning of the early phase of 17th century of a very sophisticated and whereas in the third phase only they have just stepped into the portrait painting itself of course in rajasthani it has an influence of miniature painting first is mural and the third phase only they started focusing on miniature painting mainly mughal influence will be so representation of radha krishna and nayak nayika and hunting scenes all is this fine ma yes the answer is uh, portrait painting jahangir pencil sketch shah jahan 3d akbar okay is this fine malwa school so what are just fill the comment box yes ma ma rajasthani school what all comes under rajasthani school we have a greater term too one is a rajasthani another one is pahari under rajasthani melwa malwa mewar isn't it what is the list Malwa, Mewar, Marwar, Bundi, Kota, Jaipur, Bikaner, and Kishangar. Is this fine? So try to remember. Extremely important. Next, Malwa. Some of the important paintings executed in a Malwa style or a series of Rasika Priya. Rasika Priya dated one six three four A.D. A series of Amara Sataka. This again is an example of a Malwa painting. Important paintings executed in the Malwa style. So Rasika Priya Malwa style belongs to Rajasthani school during the time 1634. Another example of a Malwa school Amaru Sataka painted in 1652 AD. Is this fine, ma? Is this fine for everyone? A series of Amara Amaru Sataka painted in 1652 AD. Mewar school. 
also known as ragmala painting paintings were based on ragas mewar music so paintings music and poetry comes together in this painting of course all these are different kinds of art forms isn't it if you have a skillful in painting you also have a potential you also have a skill in the, this music as well as in poetry then it is like a what to say it is a huge 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 uh, talented skill isn't it so when all these things especially the paintings accompanied with the music based on raga so what are the uh, so music is the central theme with respect to meva it is also known as a raga ragmala painting meva also known as ragmala ragmala is something emphasizing on music so paintings music and poetry comes together in these it's a unique style is this fine ma is this fine for everyone next see let me zoom it here okay next marwar what is the theme of course theme of radha krishna radha krishna liberal use of a gold color during whose period ma there was a more emphasis for gold silver and it was looking a uh, artificial during whose time it was there was a more emphasis on gold silver bright color it has lost the natural look and it was looking artificial outlook can you give me the answer just now we have discussed yes please give me the answer during whose time okay is this fine next so the face of male and female is similar krishna is painted in blue i told you no blue krishna of course narrow eyebrow shahjahan okay narrow eyebrows lotus petal shaped eyes minimum mughal influence who has the minimum mughal influence of course it is of a marwar the theme is the radha krishna liberal use of gold the face of a male and female is similar and krishna is painted in blue and narrow eyebrows of course we have discussed in previous also now the eyebrows and with respect to the eye skin color hair color everything they used to give emphasis so we have fat lotus petal shaped eyes see the shape of the eyes also they are giving importance lotus i think it's like a, they then the eyes will be of also blossomed eyes isn't it they have a natural look they blossomed eyes next the males are, are executed in the primitive and vigorous folk style and are completely uninfluenced by the mughal style so which is this marwar school is completely on the folk and it is uninfluenced by the mughal style okay a large number of miniature comprising the portrait court scene series of ragamala which is also known as ragamala paintings of course it is a marwar and bara masa bara masa etc were executed from the 17th to 19th century at several centers of painting like pali jodhpur and nagaur etc in marwar so can i zoom it this yes can you see this diagram it's not a diagram it's a painting can you see it ma but this is good na see can you see the cheetah hunting scene ha we will we will have discussed na actually this is an example of a hunting scene so normally they used to give emphasis on hunting batting scene okay so this is an example of an hunting scenes and next is so it's uh, several centers of paintings in pali jodhpur and nagaur etc in marwar region is this fine ma so which was not influenced which was uncompletely uninfluenced by the mughal style a large number of miniature uh, comprising portraits court scene series of ragamala and barama and of course the several centers of paintings like pali jodhpur nagaur and in marwar next bundi school around the aravalli range around the aravalli mountain sky is painted in different color mostly red color you can ask me ma sky will be in blue color why did they paint the sky in red color ribbon is visible in the sky okay red color uh, ribbon is visible in the sky because it's painted now they wanted to show the difference the creativity 
local vegetation is painted in detail through their painting they are trying to talk about the topography as well so local vegetation is painted in detail what are the themes any kind of schools the themes is extremely important the themes is scenes of pleasure loving princess etc scenes of a pleasure loving princess mostly miniature human face will be round face it is not a, a uh, lean it is of a round uh, this the portion will be a round face and sharp nose and narrow eyebrows okay sharp nose and narrow eyebrows the mughal influence is visible in the refined drawing of the faces and an element of naturalism in the treatment of the trees the text is written in the black against the yellow background on the top so sharp nose narrow eyebrows mughal influence visible in the refined drawing of the faces and an element of naturalism in the treatment of the trees so you could see a more natural figure and text will be normally it is written in black against a yellow background on the top black and yellow good combination isn't it yes or no ma next see here very beautiful i really love this see she is talking to an animal can you see the reality in that ma of course that looks see can you see the water bodies the place the trees in the behind and the sand here and <laughs> two little ones see two little ones is curiously listening to her and she is also showing so much kindness to this little ones how amazing they are it is really it's a great talent isn't it it's a really really it's a great talent and it's too good to see it's too good to see and it's straight to our eyes okay enjoy amber jaipur school the state of amber has the closest relation with the mughal emperor it is generally believed that a school of painting originated at amber is the old capital of the amber state in the early 17th century later on in the 18th century the center of artistic activity shifted to jaipur the new capital of course amber the old capital and jaipur the new capital the state of amber is the closest relation with the mughal emperor so here we have a mughal em uh, influence whereas in marwar uh, ragmala there there was a uninfluenced completely uninfluenced by the mughal style okay so you should remember the influence also from prelim point of view it's a very important there is fairly a large number of portraits of the jaipur rulers and miniatures on other subjects which can definitely be assigned to the jaipur school so here again look at your ma yes can you see this amber school how beautiful it is it's really is a great talent you know every school they have a different style they used to local vegetation they are giving emphasis on that hope you understand na they have uh, they have a different pattern they have a different style and they are trying to give life to their style kota a style of painting very much akin to the bundi style or so prevailed in the kota a place near bundi during the late 18th and 19th century ezonoma ezono si a style of painting very much close to bundi style which was of course prevailed in the kota a place near bundi during the late 18 and 19 what is the theme very interesting theme theme of a tiger and a bear hunt were very popular at kota okay in kota paintings most of the space is occupied by the hilly jungle so on seeing this painting itself you can say if it is a more emphasis for giving on the tiger uh, hunting scenes and the hilly jungle which has been rendered with a unique charm so the jungle itself will give you an uh, effect that on seeing that you are into the jungle on the hunting scenes on uh, on the hunting scenes you can have the feel that the real hunting is uh, you are able to witness the real hunting so they try to bring the liveliness in their paintings itself see but the face they have made dark color na okay let me zoom it can you see it yama is or no yes next bikaner school bikaner bikaner was one of the states which had a close relation with the mughals some of the mughal artists during the later half of the 17th century was given patronage by the bikaner court they were responsible for the introduction of a new style of painting having such having much similarity with the mughal and deccani style yes they have an influence of the 
Mughal and Deccani styles must similar to these things. One important art is Ali Raza, very very important. The Ustad, must, master of Delhi, was employed by Raja Karan Singh of Bikaner in about. 1650 AD. Who is an important artist? Of course, the painter's names you, you should remember from exam point of view. They are extremely important. One important artist, Ali Raza, the Ustad, master of Delhi, was employed by Raja Karan Singh of Bikaner. In some other noteworthy artist who worked at the Bikaner court were Ruknuddin and the son Shahadin. Ruknuddin, Shahadin, Ali Raza. Okay. Artist Ali Raza. He is the master. Ali Raza is an Ustad. Apart from that, Bikanar Court, Ruknadan, and his son Shahadan. Okay, fine. Very beautiful. Nah? Wait, let me zoom it. Let me zoom it. Where is my cursor? Yes, ma. Can you see this? Can you see this? Fine. Next. Kishangar school. Of course, we are discussing the different schools of Rajasthani Kishangar. During the second quarter of the 18th century, they developed the most charming school of Rajasthani painting in Kishangar under the patronage of Raja Savant Singh. Who is this? Raja Savant Singh? Yes, during the second quarter of the 18th century, they developed the most charming school of Rajasthani painting in Kishangar under the patronage of Raja Savant Singh. He wrote a devotional poetry in praise of Radha Krishna, okay, especially in praise of Krishna under the assumed name of Nagari Das, okay, assumed name of Nagari Das. Unfortunately, but only a small number of Kishinger miniatures are available, but they are very unique. They are really unique of its kind. Most of them are believed to have been done by the master painter, you know. Do you remember in the beginning of the session, we have discussed the names of the master painter, Vachak, Okay, Nihal Chan. So here the Kishangar, most of them are believed to have been done by the master painter Nihal Chand, who in his works has been able to create a visual images of his master's lyrical composition. For the lyrics, they are trying to bring the lyrics on the paintings. So beautiful it might be, how creative they might be. It is really, really a difficult thing and challenging thing. Because it is not that easy to convert the lyrics into paintings. Of course, they have done this. It has been done by the master painter Nihal Chand. See, look at here. Let me zoom it. Can you see the difference? Now, see pointed nose, lotus eyes. In some of the paintings we have discussed now, this is this lotus eyes, the elongated eyes and the dark color, lengthy hair, dark color. Okay, this is, see, see the nose. Do we have a nose like this on L shape? Okay, next. The artist has executed the types of human figures delicately drawn, white with sorry, with slender bodies and uplift up tilted eyes. The painting is marked by delicate drawing, fine modeling of the human figure and cows, and the broad vista of landscape showing a steam rows of overlapping trees and an architecture. How beautiful it is, isn't it? Kishingar, the artist has displayed a masterly skill in the grouping of many figures in the miniature. The painting has a golden inner border. It is ascribed to the middle of the 18th century and may be the work of the Nihal Chand, the great famous artist of Kishingar. Try to remember Nihal Chand, very, very important. Oh, sorry, ma. It's okay. Hope you're good. Hope you're, hope you're fine. Okay. Rajasthani. Rajasthani style, of course, we have no. It is based on the indigenous 
fresco and the mural paintings later only the miniature and mughal influence because we have seen the faces all the first phase it was of a mural phase and then it was again phase was a sophisticated on third phase on the later century 17th and 18th century only they have been switched over to the miniature and mughal influence isn't it ma'am don't worry we will be doing a quick revision theme it is religious and devotional depicts the sanskrit textual data what is the theme of this ma it will be more of religious and devotional in nature and depicts the sanskrit textual details hindu symbols were mostly used like swastika of course all of you try to draw swastika this i can do okay am i right swastika swan and lotus don't ask me to draw swan and lotus as i mentioned at the beginning i am a poor artist i can't even draw a single line properly and in paint tab of course this style is it's very difficult fine next is mughal style of course it is a cutie pie what is this cutie pie in mughal style persian indian european influence miniature Persian influence. What will be the theme? Royal form, court scenes, animals and birds. Less emphasis on human. I told you, you no, know, they don't like the human. Jahangir is a naturalist lover. He don't want to draw any. Uh, during his time only the painting has reached the climax. So he don't. Uh, he wanted to draw. He wanted to make a paintings of birds, animals, and other things, flowers. But he never paid uh, any interest on the. Less emphasis on human. Based on Persian poetry and Mughal history. Use of the trees. Do you remember trees mostly? Use of the trees, camel and falcon. Okay. Next is Pahari school. I think Pahari school we will continue in the second part. Until now I will do the quick revision. Then we will go for a live quiz. Is this fine ma? Is this fine for the late comers? So can I do the quick revision? Pahar, we have completed till Rajasthani school. Pahari school, we will go for one short revision. Pahari school, we will try to do. Okay. The second slot. Tomorrow class. Is this fine for everyone? Better me, we will do it fast. Okay. So that late comers also wait. Let me highlight now. I'll use the highlighter. Okay. Can I begin now for everyone? So it is going to be a good revision, quick revision. Pahari we will do tomorrow, and after this, better me after this revision, we will begin the live quiz of art and culture. Okay, performing arts. So you will have all kinds of questions with respect to performing arts. Try to enjoy. So to begin with. They are, what is this mural works? Of course, executed on the walls of the large structure. Example of Mughal, uh, mural paintings, Ajanta, mainly Buddhism. Lepakshi, secular. Elora, Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism. Mostly mural paintings done during Gupta age. Is this fine? Is this fine for everyone? Next. Mural paintings of Gupta age. Ajanta, very famous Ajanta painting. What they used to give emphasis on Ajanta painting, we can see the emphasis or especially they used to give for the expressions of emotion and hand postures. Emotions not only of the humans, it will also consist the emotions of the birds and animals. That is really amazing. It is really difficult to bring the emotions of birds and animals in painting. That too on the wall painting, that they will make it uh, up to its level. Okay, up to the mark. So, birds and animals, emotions are also given important. Fresco paintings, they have a, a separate style and the theme is very, very important. Any kind of painting, you have to give emphasis for the theme. So, for the mural painting, the Buddhism only Buddha, sorry in Ajanta painting of course it comes under a mural type in here in Ajanta paintings the theme is Buddhism Buddha, Buddhism in terms of Jataka tales life of a Buddha whatever it is but all their paintings of Ajanta which will be revolving around the Buddhism Bath painting same as Ajanta painting Elora so theme you have to give importance what is this Elora painting ma Hinduism Buddhism Jainism what are the scenes? For example, it is Hinduism, Ramayana, Mahabharata scene, Shiva as an address, dancing because he is a lord of dance, the god of dance, isn't it? So yesterday's class we were discussing about the classical dances, Shiva as an address, battle scenes, elephant in the lotus pond. These are all the examples of Elora paintings and technique they use as same as Ajanta. 
then lepakshi very very important it was also a ajanta lepakshi elora these were all your previous prelim questions okay so lepakshi it is very specific why because uh, we have a uh, unique features here not so positive uh, lepakshi it was uh, flourish during a vijayanagar kingdom theme is not religious you can see the scenes of ramayana mahabharata court scenes it was more secular in nature yes and also second thing is that complete absence of primary colors and bad quality when you do not use the primary colors how the quality will be there it is only a substandard quality because absence of primary colors secular decline in paintings okay and here see is it is it colorful no it is dull why because they didn't use the primary colors you can't see the blue you can't see the red you can't see the yellow and it is a dull shaded color so it doesn't have any this appealing uh, thing and next is some of the wall paintings of like uh, lepakshi of course the example is that jaipur palace and uh, rang mahal chamba palace in himachal pradesh these are all that examples miniature painting what is this miniature very small detail very small scale in books yes wall mural paintings wall painting miniature page, miniature it is not only on one you can do it in multiple for example on the books on the manuscripts on other materials like paper cloth and even glass so the techniques traditional and the colors in water color mixing the colors in water along with the binding media and first they will draw the sketch outline the outline normally they will use to draw it in red or the black and then only they will do the white priming was given okay next is first so from they don't go from the subject first we have the habit of uh, coloring the uh, subject first no they used to come finish the background first so background was colored then only they used to come for the center figure figures were painted last of all after which a final outline was drawn or it, they have to maintain this ma because this is very very important next colors used in painting so getting the colors extracting the colors is very challenging and it is very interesting fact is that they will extract the color from the vegetable el map indigo from the vegetable from insects which color that is getting extracted they have uh, taken from the insects means it is a lag dye and red carmine lag dye and red carmine from the insects indigo from the vegetable and they are also try to extract the colors from the minerals and ochres okay this is very interesting uh, feature next is uh, technical rule for miniature this is the rule they have to strictly abide by they have to strictly follow what is that original size should not be greater than 25 subject should not be more than 1/6 of its original size paintings not nearly about the size first of all the word miniature what do you mean by miniature is it anything to represent from where does where does this originate latin word it is not a mini it is a minium what do you mean by minium are they trying to talk about the size no my dear if you are going to say is size then your answer is wrong it has nothing to do with the size the word minium meaning red lead paint red lead paint used in illuminated manuscript during the renaissance red lead paint used in illuminated manuscripts during the renaissance okay try to remember one of the most important point next is most human characters of course with the side profile big guys pointed nose skin color krishna blue yes ma turbans natural colors famous painters vachan nihal chand very very important various types of miniature painting pal school abrahan shah mughal and regional so under pal lonely human figures mainly manuscript initially on the palm leaf then only they will convert on the paper what is the theme for any school you have to emphasize on the theme on the pal school bh what is this bh they used to emphasize on buddhist and hinduism nature representation banana and coconut tree all this fine ma or you able to recap or you able to recap a ah, lonely figure then uh, upper branch meva and gujarat region what is the theme 
in Jainism, JV, Jainism and Vaishnavism, characteristic bulgin eyes, pointed nose, double chin, use of bright and gold color. Of course, we have a stiff figure and animals and birds are represented as a toy. So, each kind of school has its own peculiarism. Here, you have to remember the themes for each and every school. Theme is extremely important. Secondly, Mughal painting, Pai, Cutie Pai. What is this Pai? Persian, Indian, European influence. Mostly miniature, brilliant colors, accuracy in line drawing. Who is to give accuracy in line drawing? Of course, it is a Mughal painting and they used to give much emphasis for ornamentation, variety of thing, use of foresightening technique. Is this fine? Is this fine till now? Next. So, Babar. Under Mughal, we are going to discuss an interesting. He doesn't have, who doesn't have much time for painting? Ma'am, Baba. What did it, he patronize for a Persian painter? Bizarre. Humayun. Humayun. Second, uh, two Persian painters he patronized. One is Abdus Samman. Another one is Mir Ayyad, Sayyad Ali. Very, very important. Try to remember from prelim point of view, extremely important. Next is Akbar. Akbar period is very, many things uh, during Akbar period. He is the one who created a separate department. Concept of Karkana. In the Karkanas, what the concept? Indian painters. Because uh, during Mughal, they have a uh, three influence. Persian, Indian and European. In order to get the Indian influence, the Karkanas has been uh, uh, started. The Karkanas, Indian painters were invited Indian influence. What are the features? Famous painters, Dashwan, Baswan. Kesu, Dashwant, Baswant, Kesu. Mostly it will be a miniature, 3D figure, calligraphy. And what is the theme during for the Akbar Ma? It is fair and festival, F to F. Many important things you have to remember in Akbar. It is fair and festival. Of course, it is a combined efforts of painters started. Then next is Jahangir. During his time, it has reached the climax. He is a naturalist. He doesn't want to uh, do the pain. It doesn't mean that doesn't want. I'm just saying for a fun, fun based. The theme is mainly theme since he is a naturalist. The theme is based on the birds, animals and the natural flowers. Portrait painting. It was started during Jahangir. Decorated margin. Of course, the famous painter Uzdad Manzoor. Famous painting, Zebra, Turkey, Maulana, Du Piazza. Is this fine? Then for Shah Jahan, too much use of gold, silver and bright colors. Reduce the liveliness, artificial look. Isn't it? During good period, Shah Jahan. And this unnatural, unnatural, of course. So, so it was so naturalist, uh, previous one, Jahangir. And here Shah Jahan, it is an artificial look. Uh, look such as the European influence. Oh, they themselves are saying uh, this is uh, because entire Mughal it has a three influence Persian, Indian and uh, European. Since it is of uh, too much anything in excess it is not um, good to appeal. Of course it doesn't have any uh, pleasing effect. So this unnatural look suggests that it might be of an European influence and pencil drawing and sketching for the first time it has begun started during Shah Jahan time. Auring as if everything downfall Okay, decline of Mughal Empire. Similarly, it is a disgrace the painting, dispersal of artists from the Mughal court and the concept of regional school. Why? Because the uh, painters, they were not, they were not uh, patronized. So, now the dispersal of artists has happened. Now, they have dispersed to different regions. Now, there is an evolution of a regional school. In regional school, of course, we have a two types. One is a Rajasthani and another one is Pahari. Now, we have completed till Rajasthani. Under Rajasthani, Malwa, Mewar, Marwar, Bundi, Kota, Jaipur, Ambar, Bikaner, Kishangar. Is this fine, ma? These are all the regional school. Pahari, we will discuss tomorrow. And under Malwa, theme is Hindu tradition, mythology. So, theme is very, very important. Rajasthani school, Hindu tradition, mythology. So, battle scene, hunting scene, riding scenes. Developed in three phases, very important. Why? Because a miniature hasn't started in the first phase. In the first phase, they have given emphasis for mural paintings alone. So, first phase itself is extended till 16th century. So, mural paintings is, of course, it will be very simple and lucid. That also on a solid and a dark background. 
second phase sophisticated at least 17th century on third phase only they have begun a portrait painting miniature mughal influence of course here the paintings you can see in the presentation of representation of radha krishna nayak naika hunting scenes etc is this fine is this fine malwa school some of the important paintings very very uh, uh, of course i love this name rasika priya uh, during rasika priya style belong to which type of school it's a malwa school and rasika priya and amaru sataka a series of this painted during which time it is of a belong to which school malwa school some of the important paintings executed in the malwa styles or series of rasika priya dated 1634 a series of amaru and sataka painted in 1652 ad meva school also known as ragmala painting very very important very very important meva school it comes under the rajasthani because they give emphasis for the music the gragas okay the paintings you can see some music instruments or the lyrics or everything they used to give life to the compositions paintings okay the music um, lyrics and composition everything it's a, it's an amazing it's a really it is unique it is first of its kind first of its kind then it is a marwar school marwar school the theme is radha krishna liberal use of gold color krishna in blue color narrow eyebrows lotus fatal shaped eyes i think in one painting i have shown you how the lotus uh, fatal shaped eyes will be it is an elongated eyes and minimum mughal influence okay next is minimum mughal so it is like miniatures or in primitive and completely uninfluenced by the mughal so here we we'll have a scenes of see this is a battle scene okay uh, it is not a battle scene it is a hunting scene can you see the cheetah can you see the cheetah he is having a gun here hunting scene okay it's very uh, interesting to look at here large number of miniature comprising can you zoom this ma if i zoom it okay highlight will be got fine portrait score scene series of bara masa and uh, so were executed the region centers of paintings pali jodhpur and nagaur next is bundi school aravalli range of course the red color what sky sky will be painted in different color more specifically red color sky and red color visible ribbon local vegetation is painted in detail theme scenes of pleasure loving princess mostly miniature human face is a round face sharp nose narrow eyebrows and visible in the refined treatment so treat uh, it is rarely in the black text is written in the black against the yellow background on the top see how beautiful it is okay and amber school jaipur the state uh, old capital is amber new is jaipur let us focus on the example kota school akin to the bundi school and themes of tiger and deer hunt and a hilly jungle so emphasis on the jungle then you can see this nature bikaner of course i think this is bikaner and kishangarh is last bikaner it was one of the states which had a close relation with the mughals okay and uh, important artist during bikaner ali raza ustad of course he is a master was employed by raja karan singh of bikaner and uh, noteworthy artist famous artist of bikaner school bikaner court were ruknuddin and shahad shahadan is this fine ma this is fine we have done a quick recap kishangarh is very important uh, this is a, wait i'll show you okay so the second quarter most charming school of rajasthan which is the most charming school of course it is a kishangarh under the patronage of raja savan singh and he wrote a devotional poetry in praise of krishna under the assumed name of nagari das most of them are believed to have been done by the master painter nihal chand who in his works has been able to create a visual images of his mastery master's lyrical composition nihal chand is one of the most see can you see the size can you see the size ma can you see the nose pointed peak does anyone of us have this nose pointed so and the size can you see the size elongated lotus shapes it's a lengthy one okay so this is a beauty so they used to give uh, detailing for these things and nihal chand golden inner border fine i think rajasthani style of course initially it was uh, uh, based on fresco and the mural and later only miniature so of course hindu symbols uh, swastika span and lotus pahari school we will do in tomorrow's class now is time part 2 because i don't want you to get exhausted so i have made a quick revision
now it's really really high time and the most important time live quiz on art and culture so how do you have to join the quiz a simple thing you all have an unacademy learning app isn't it ma'am so log in to the unacademy learning app on the bottom okay because for some they you might uh, find it difficult so i am giving you the description as well just give me a moment okay and bottom you have home syllabus test so click the test when you click the test there open a page of live quiz okay there open a page of live quiz there you click this live quiz test then open a page of live quiz click this live quiz when you click this live quiz two box will be open host quiz and join quiz i have to do this host quiz you have to join quiz when you click this join quiz it will ask you to enter the code the code you have to enter is are you getting it ma'am the code you have to enter is i have already mentioned here wait i think the beginning i have mentioned Eight nine eight four one six. Join quiz by entering the code. Eight nine eight four one six. Is this fine? Is this fine for everyone? Hope you understand. Eight nine. Thank you, Asla. I was searching. So is this fine? Eight nine. I have also shared the link, shared the code in the DL Ma'am Mission IES. But still, I want. I think it's time for you to join the quiz. So please join the quiz. Yes. One joined. What about others? K is joined. I don't know who is K. My everyone join it, ma. It's an amazing opportunity. Most learners joining in. I'll wait for you. A handful amount of students. If you have joined, I can begin the session. I can start the quiz. When I've joined, please let. join and let me know i'll begin the quiz in 1 minute yes how many of you have joined the quiz Only one has joined. It's showing only one has joined. What about others? Two has joined. Okay. Okay. I'm starting the quiz. Others joined by the time. Join the quiz, ma.
Ma'am, let's slow. Okay. Can I end, ma? No, na. Oh.
Hi friends. Yes. Uh, successfully students have completed the test. It's really good to take a live test ma, so that you get exposed to so many questions. Either you know or not, that is, doesn't matter. Because you can understand, you can know, you can get the inputs right. What kind of questions will be asked and how you have to strengthen your preparation. Okay. So always uh, face these questions in a positive way. And once again, it's congrats to Aslam and Chandu nowadays has started participating. It's good go. And I have seen one new student, apart from the regular student, Narendra. So keep participating. Take as many quizzes as possible. That is going to do um, major changes. You believe it or not, that is going to do a tremendous changes in your preparation. Okay. Is this fine? What about others, ma? So please make sure tonight... Uh, uh, we have a class on 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Yes, the topic I'm going to do in today's class is like uh, uh, earth movements, endogenetic and exogenetic forces, which will be again followed by a quiz. We'll have a separate quiz on tonight as well. Uh, so please keep supporting your DLMA by it's really, really high time. If you want to see my classes for the upcoming year, of course, as well, it's really high time. To popularize this code, this code has to go viral. The only thing is that you have to use this code and you have to take the subscription, DL10, okay? Recommend your friends as well. So, I wish, uh, what about others? So, make sure that whenever you are after, if you see a notification, all my class details, the quiz details, the quiz link, the quiz code, everything I'll use to share in advance, much in advance. That is what I have been already done. So, please make sure that and get it done, okay? Stay blessed. I'll catch you in tonight's class. Until then, it's bye from your DLMAP. Good luck, good day, bye-bye, stay connected. Thank you, Anand.